What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Tuesday evening, June 22nd, 2021, about 9.50 p.m. California time out here in the desert. 4.2, the latest earthquake on the globe, striking out here in the western part of the Pacific. Quite a bit of earthquake activity taking place over the last 24 hours. We'll jump right into it here on the latest information map here from the USGS. Um, looking at, uh, there's that 4.2 out here in the Pacific. Seen a little bit of uptick in activity with a 5.8 magnitude earthquake up here around the Peru area, down into the uh, Peru Chile Trench. Pretty significant earthquake there in that region. Also some movement down south here along the Chile area. Uh, 5.3, that one at 70 kilometers as well. An in-between earthquake uh, of a 4.1 at about 36 kilometers here. Some, some movement uh, definitely taking place out there along the trench area. Uh, Southern California getting in on some action as well. This is a 2.5 and above. So actually, I, I shouldn't say Southern California. It's south of the border, a 3.1, uh, but still kind of close out here to the uh, border line. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes and we can see the earthquake activity taking place in the Southern California region. A little bit of activity around the Salton Sea area, stretching up towards the San Andreas Fault. Uh, right now, just nothing significant, but still a movement taking place nonetheless. Uh, movement up here along the creeping section as well, 2.1 near Pinnacles, and some further uh, activity up along the plate boundary. We are seeing a little increase in activity north of Lake Tahoe. See this activity spread, spread, spread about the land up here uh, into the Sierra Nevadas, kind of up here around the Lake Almanor area as well. Of course, Mount uh, Mount Lassen sits up here. So uh, for right now, that's, that that volcano looks pretty quiet. This little earthquake here striking near Almanor. Uh, looks like there was a 2.2 and a 2.1 right on top of e each other. 4.5 kilometers uh, looks like. And then uh, uh, one being in the negative there. But I'm sure that will be revised. So the movement north of Lake Tahoe right around the Truckee area. Of course, we've been watching this area for a few weeks now. With the movement in Lake Tahoe. Uh, I should say underneath the lake of Lake Tahoe. And uh, northwest of Truckee, right about in this area here, we've seen a little bit of larger activity. All this microquake movement, but still movement nonetheless. Uh, Pacific Northwest, a little bit of activity up here east, northeast of Seattle, 2.0. Uh, what is that? Swede, he Swede Heaven, Washington, and also a little bit deeper earthquake there near Hoodsport, Washington. Of course, the movement out here along the Yellowstone area, Hebgen Lake, getting in on some of the action of the swarming activity earlier today. Uh, looking at about 15 earthquakes or, or so within this region. Just kind of popped up and then it just disappeared. Um, you know, as far as the activity goes, Yellowstone kind of calming down as well. Not a whole lot of movement there um, at Yellowstone National Park, just a couple of microquakes. We did see some activity spread out uh, down around the Texas area, Pecos, Texas. And over here in the Midland area with a 3.1 earthquake striking out here earlier today. Uh, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic area. Seeing a little increase in activity out there. Scattered about. Got, got the uh, Peru Chile. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench, I should say, up here. Uh, this movement, nothing significant, but a uh, general sign of increase in pressure and activity in the Puerto Rico area. Also some movement uh, over here through the uh, Mediterranean and also into the part, uh, looks like parts of the Himalayas over there, close to the Himalayas, around the India region of 4.6 striking. Hawaii, what's going on out there in the Big Island? Just your general earthquake activity, general swarming, right? Always at about 35 kilometers or so within the southeast flank. That's just how it's been. That's how it is, and uh, that's how it's going to be for now. A little bit of movement up around the Kilauea uh, crater area as well. There is the latest on the Yellowstone activity. You can see uh, just the movement up there earlier today, some microquake activity. And there is that, uh, looks like the 5.8 around the Peru area registering on some of the seismograph stations there in Yellowstone National Park. 
trimmer activity. Let's go ahead and check that out. Just about seven epicenters way down here into the southern end of the Cascadia, right along the coast range, underneath the coast range. Some low energy being uh, vibrated down there into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, I'm going to call it night. I uh, hope everyone stays safe, stays safe out there. And um, we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.